Happy holidays, everyone. Hello. I'm Kyle. And I'm Corey. And today we're recapping some of the top trends in optics that we covered from the past year. Yes, these are some different technologies and trends in the industry that we highlighted in previous episodes of this series. The first one we're going to talk about are Schwarz mirrors. So I probably butchered that pronunciation again. Schwarz is the German word for black. So Schwarz mirrors are mirrors that reduce stray light in a system using lasers. So using a traditional dielectric laser mirror, some amount of light is transmitting through the coating, through the substrate, and then very often there's a beam block or some other way to absorb that stray light in the system. So Schwarz mirrors use an engineered form of fusilica that maintains the desired properties of fusilica while essentially acting like a neutral density filter. It absorbs that light that would otherwise go through the substrate. It was shown to reduce the transmission through it by several orders of magnitude while maintaining greater than 98% of the reflective properties. So in situations where controlling stray light is more important than maximizing reflection, these types of mirrors are very applicable. The next top trend of 2022 that we're recapping is athermalization ruggedization. So athermalized imaging lenses um, require no additional refocusing with uh, temperature changes. Standard imaging lenses, um, when temperature changes, uh, you'll need to refocus it. Um, so these athermalized lenses are also streamlined uh, in their optomechanical designs, uh, making them less susceptible to damage from shock and vibration. And these lenses are ideal for applications in aerospace or um, aerial industries, and also just any kind of application where temperature will be changing pretty dramatically. Definitely, or any system in experiencing temperature changes. So if you're nice and warm by the hearth inside of your house and you decide to go outside into the winter holiday storm, the lenses will be just fine. They can operate in both environments. <laughs> The last top trend that we'll recap for this year is free space optical communication. So that's wireless communication through the air using lasers, and it could be from a satellite to the ground or between two different ground stations. And one of the main benefits of this is broader bandwidth. You can send more information quickly. So compared to traditional radio frequency wireless communication, FSO, free space optical communication, has bandwidth increases of 10 to 100 times, and it requires less input power. So not only is this good for bringing high-speed internet to rural areas or just to existing areas faster, but also it's very useful for defense applications because it's much harder to intercept and decipher free space optical communications compared to other types of communications. So those were three of our top trends from 2022. And if you want any additional information about any of these topics, uh, check out the links in our description below. Yes, because those are past episodes from this year. And we're excited to bring you even more trends and technologies going into 2023 in the optics industry. So happy holidays, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.